try and dream bigger, but also differently. Between the lagging economy, automation, and baby boomers refusing to retire, it can be tough for millennials to break into the job market. But it seems that just as the traditional formula is increasingly less available to them, millennials are increasingly less interested in it too. I believe that there's always another option. You can go a different way. Now in 2016, there's so many different jobs that they didn't have before. There's so many different career paths that we can take, and there's kind of not one way to do that. This generation doesn't see the world the same way that people did before. They don't feel the need to get married in their early 20s and start doing that kind of a lifestyle because there's so many more options. It's estimated that 60% of new graduates will end up with an average of $27,000 in debt. According to Statistics Canada, the unemployment rate for millennials is nearly double that of the general workforce. Many employers are asking for work experience and young people have to work for free as interns to get it. It's an unfortunate trend where, in some industries especially, it's more prevalent where employers take advantage of um, free placements for, from students and because there's a constant flow of those students, they tend to hire less. So it's part of a system that unfortunately doesn't help the young people. With prospects like these, many young people see it as the end of job security. There's people who've been working at their job in their position for years and years, and then they they'll be let go, and because of you know the all the changes they're making, it's so hard to to kind of say what is safety nowadays. With the concept of safety out the window, millennials are seizing financial opportunities and taking their time to settle down. And go in for a four-hour shift and come out with more money than someone working all day doing, I, I will straight up say, way more important work. At this point, I could have already started an RRSP and I could have done a lot of other things. I'm definitely in a place where I could. I don't necessarily want to own anything anytime soon because I don't feel like I'm ready to settle down in one place. <laughs> but living in the now has its own drawbacks. You don't get vacation pay, you don't get holiday pay, we work the days that nobody else does. I guess on paper it's harder for if, it, if I wanted a mortgage or if I wanted say maybe a loan from the bank or something along those lines it's definitely more difficult. With competition for jobs being as fierce as it is, young people looking to enter the workforce will have to be creative and push harder than ever before. Uh, we, we, we have to set ourselves apart and um, try to promote ourselves as the best person for the job. Um, and that's the best we can do, I guess. I'm Olga Pavlova for Say News.